young boy by the name of LeBron Raymond James was born to a soon-to-be single mother, Gloria James, who was age 16 at the time. The question that many people have asked ever since LeBron James was in the spotlight is, who was LeBron James's real blood-related father? Over the years, there have been many conspiracies on who the real father is, and we will break them down in this video. Likewise, over the years, LeBron has continuously stated that, in a way, he is almost glad his father wasn't in his life because it gave him the opportunity to become a mature kid and a caring husband and father himself. He stated, My mother really struggled. She had me, her only child, when she was 16 years old. She was on her own, so we lived in her mum's great big house in Akron, Ohio. But on Christmas Day, when I was three years old, my grandmother suddenly died of a heart attack, and everything changed. With my mum being so young, lacking any support and the skills and education necessary to get ahead, it was really hard for us. His quote right there at the start of that piece was, She had me, her only child. That is very interesting, and we'll touch on that later on. The first conspiracy theory surrounding LeBron James' father is a man named Bryce Stovall, who, according to Stovall, had unprotected sex with LeBron James' mother after a meeting at a bar in the D.C. area back in 1984. He's here now telling us all about his lawsuit against LeBron James and his mother, Gloria Lester. Stovall accuses them of fraud, defamation, and tampering with a DNA paternity test. You're suing LeBron and his mom to prove that you're the dad, but you're asking for millions of dollars. When one makes allegations of wrongdoing, uh, there uh, generally are harms that flow from that. Uh, the harms can be both legal, as it's called, or equitable. In this case, I've alleged both. At the time, he was 29 years old, and Gloria was only 15. First of all, that is statutory rape and is disgusting. Second of all, there was actually a DNA test which came back negative after they took the paternity test as it came back with a 0% chance that he was LeBron James's father. You, you took a DNA test, right? You, you took a paternity yes, test and did. it came back and said 0% chance of paternity. But the man claiming to be LeBron's father believed it was tampered with. And said 0% chance of paternity, but you're not trusting the results? Uh, no, I'm not, unfortunately. Ultimately, though, there is no clear evidence that he is the father of LeBron James, and he also doesn't look anything like LeBron James either. So, he is inconclusive. The second unlikely conspiracy theory of LeBron James' father is that he was actually former NBA legend Nate Thurmond. I'm here to tell you that this is most likely not true, as Thurmond would have been in his 40s when he impregnated Gloria, who was 15 or 16 at the time. The only evidence that Thurmond could have had is that he played for Cleveland, he was born in Akron, Ohio in 1941, not to mention, looking at his physique, he is a big guy, similar to the build of LeBron James now. Lastly, his hairline. We all know about that LeBron James hairline. <laughs> Overall though, those two men have no conclusive evidence to be LeBron James's father. But this next man does. A man by the name of Roland Bivens, who was a star player at Central Howard High in the early 1980s. He is not to be confused with Anthony McCallan. Now, McCallan is a man claimed to be LeBron James' father, according to Gloria James herself. But there is no proof that he is, and there is also no images of him anywhere to be found. Now, this has created for a massive conspiracy theory, and I believe that Roland Bivens and Anthony McCallan are actually the same person. Now, I don't know if this is from a name change or another way, but why would he change his name in the first place? Two reasons. Number one, this man obviously would have had a relationship with Gloria James. It is stated that he was a few classes ahead of Gloria, which means if he was 18 or 19 and Gloria James was around 15 or 16 years old, that could have classified as statutory rape. Roland is the father. Roland Bivens was a star at Central Howard High in the early 80s a few classes ahead of Gloria James. The All-City player and member of the 1980-81 state championship team ran in the same circles as Gloria, and friends say they dated. The second piece of evidence that could suggest the name change is that he was convicted of arson and theft, as well as other violations. Maybe he thought that changing his name would be necessary and called himself Anthony McCallan. 
The name of Roland Bivens was his high school name and he is referred to as Roland all through that time with underlying evidence to suggest that he is the father of LeBron James. As they went to the exact same high school and close friends of both of them suggested that they dated for a while. They suggested that Roland Biffins had a relationship with Gloria James, LeBron's mother. Not only that, but in high school, the high school coach basically said that the resemblance to LeBron James's personality and also playing style was extremely similar. Number 24, Roland, reminds a former coach of the chosen one. He said that, you know, when he watched LeBron play, it kind of reminded him of... of Roland and the way he played and his physical attributes, how powerful he was, the way he went to the basket, his smile, his charisma, just his demeanor, they were just, just alike. In fact, this high school photo of Roland Biffins looked exactly the same as LeBron James himself in high school. So it's pretty crazy. The only question here is that the real reason why Roland Bivens never stepped forward is because he died at a drive-by shooting in 1994. In 1994, when LeBron was eight years old, Roland was shot after a card game in Akron, leaving at least one mystery in LeBron's life unanswered. Now, this couldn't be because the so-called man by the name of Anthony McCallan was later arrested on November 12, 2002. But during that exact year, he tried to get in contact with LeBron James and start a relationship. Except, how could he be if he was murdered eight years ago? He died at a young age in a, a drive-by shooting, so there was no way to really tell if he was really the father or not. Well, isn't it also crazy that eight years later, another man with no images or information of him anywhere to be found, tries to get in contact with LeBron and Gloria, but is arrested for arson and theft, which is exactly what Roland was charged for many years ago in high school, before he so-called was murdered. Not to mention, all you have to do is take one look at Roland to know that he is LeBron's father for sure. He is literally LeBron James with an afro. Even Gloria James talks about a man named McCallan, claiming he is the father of her son. She mentions this on ESPN, in the book LeBron James King of the Court, as well as many other reliable sources. According to an ESPN magazine article from 2002, McCallan, who was a casual sex partner of Gloria's and left her after she got pregnant, has been convicted of arson and found guilty of theft at least five times. LeBron James has never met McCallan. Duck Bivens, just a man that looks exactly like LeBron James and went to Gloria's high school. Something just seems a little bit fishy here. But if that wasn't enough evidence, these next two pieces of evidence will blow your mind because it definitely blew mine. In June 2014, Meta World Peace said that his brother was in jail with LeBron James's father, quoting, as a fan, sometimes to see LeBron James not take over, I'm kind of like, come on. Let's do it, he said. His pops went to jail with my older brother. My brother spent 10 years in jail. They were locked up together. Keeping in mind that Meta said this in an article not even related to LeBron James's father. The article was just about LeBron James as a player. So how would Meta World Peace have known that LeBron James's father was in jail? Ron Artest's brother must have been in jail with LeBron's father. Now, this next and final piece of evidence will shock you. Not many people know that LeBron James has a stepbrother. Well, it is not necessarily conclusive, but when you piece all the dots together, it makes sense. As the question has been asked several times, many people tend not to know the real answer. The fact is that LeBron James does not have a blood brother or sister. He was the only child of Gloria James and Anthony McCallan. After having LeBron James, Gloria had a number of boyfriends, but she never had a baby with any of them. This means that it would have been a half-brother of LeBron James. Had LeBron's father been named Anthony McCallan, the man who had a name change from being called Roland Bivens in high school. This means McCallan had a child with another woman, and it's this part of the video that will shock you. LeBron's half-brother's name is Aaron McCallan Gamble, the exact same name as the middle name of LeBron and Aaron's father's first name. Not to mention, just like McCallan, the father of LeBron James it's almost scary how much Aaron and LeBron look alike. He literally looks like a skinny version of LeBron. Bivens, just a man that looks exactly like LeBron James, 
and went to Gloria's high school. Something just seems a little bit fishy here. But if that wasn't enough evidence, these next two pieces of evidence will blow your mind because it definitely blew mine. In June 2014, MetaWorld P said that his brother was in jail with LeBron James's father, quoting, as a fan, sometimes to see LeBron James not take over, I'm kind of like, come on, let's do it, he said. His pops went to jail with my older brother. My brother spent 10 years in jail. They were locked up together. Keeping in mind that Meta said this in an article not even related to LeBron James's father. The article was just about LeBron James as a player. So how would Meta World Peace have known that LeBron James's father was in jail? Ron Artest's brother must have been in jail with LeBron's father. Now. This next and final piece of evidence will shock you. Not many people know that LeBron James has a stepbrother. Well, it is not necessarily conclusive, but when you piece all the dots together, it makes sense. As the question has been asked several times, many people tend not to know the real answer. The fact is that LeBron James does not have a blood brother or sister. He was the only child of Gloria James and Anthony McCallan. After having LeBron James, Gloria had a number of boyfriends, but she never had a baby with any of them. This means that it would have been a half-brother of LeBron James. Had LeBron's father been named Anthony McCallum, the man who had a name change from being called Roland Bivens in high school. This means McCallum had a child with another woman, and it's this part of the video that will shock you. LeBron's half-brother's name is Aaron McCallum Gamble. The exact same name as the middle name of LeBron and Aaron's father's first name. Not to mention, just like McCallum, the father of LeBron James, it's almost scary how much Aaron and LeBron look alike. He literally looks like a skinny Bivens, just a man that looks exactly like LeBron James and went to glorious high school. Something just seems a little bit fishy here. But if that wasn't enough evidence, these next two pieces of evidence will blow your mind because it definitely blew mine. In June 2014, MetaWorld P said that his brother was in jail with LeBron James' father, quoting, As a fan, sometimes to see LeBron James not take over, I'm kind of like, come on. Let's do it, he said. His pops went to jail with my older brother. My brother spent 10 years in jail. They were locked up together. Keeping in mind that Meta said this in an article not even related to LeBron James's father. The article was just about LeBron James as a player. So how would Meta World Peace have known that LeBron James's father was in jail? Ron Artest's brother must have been in jail with LeBron's father. Now, this next and final piece of evidence will shock you. Not many people know that LeBron James has a stepbrother. Well, it is not necessarily conclusive, but when you piece all the dots together, it makes sense. As the question has been asked several times, many people tend not to know the real answer. The fact is that LeBron James does not have a blood brother or sister. He was the only child of Gloria James and Anthony McCallan. After having LeBron James, Gloria had a number of boyfriends, but she never had a baby with any of them. This means that it would have been a half-brother of LeBron James. Had LeBron's father been named Anthony McCallum, the man who had a name change from being called Roland Bivens in high school. This means McCallum had a child with another woman, and it's this part of the video that will shock you. LeBron's half-brother's name is Aaron McCallum Gamble, the exact same name as the middle name of LeBron and Aaron's father's first name. Not to mention, just like McCallum, the father of LeBron James it's almost scary how much Aaron and LeBron look alike. He literally looks like a skinny...